Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Well, we're back here today by our pigs. They are still finding some things to eat back here in the woods, but there's not a whole lot growing for them anymore. Winter has really snuck up on us this year, and this past week has just been frigid cold. Especially at night, we've been getting down into the, you know, like low, low double digits and uh, single digits with the wind chill. So it's been just some really uh, cold weather, especially for us here in Southern Missouri. The summer seemed to have just flown by and we have had such a great time raising these pigs. You guys don't like lettuce? Starting tomorrow, we're gonna to start processing the pigs. We're gonna start, I think, with peewee, and then we're gonna do penny shortly thereafter. We're hoping to get both pigs completely processed, including slaughtering them, butchering them, cutting them into all of the cuts that we need, grinding what we need for sausage and ground pork, and getting everything in the freezer, all within about a five day period. It's gonna be a crazy busy few days, but it's something that we absolutely love because it is uh, really why we homestead. Not only is that gonna be crazy busy because we're gonna be, just Kevin and I are gonna be taking care of these pigs, but also it is the start of deer rifle season. So in the early morning and in the late afternoon, Kevin will be hunting. And in the middle of all of that, we're going to be taking care of these pigs. It's just gonna be the craziest week ever. Yeah, winter came so quickly that I did kind of realize that we were, you know, kind of having to do this all at one time. So it's gonna be a lot of work, but we enjoy it. Like Sarah said, rifle season starts this Saturday. Rifle season here in Missouri only lasts 10 days. So I've got 10 days to see how many deer I can get. I'm hoping I'll get at least two, uh, maybe another buck and hopefully a doe or maybe a couple does, we'll see. Um, but only those 10 days are the only days out of the year that you can shoot a deer with a gun other than muzzle loader season, which is later on in the winter. During this busy time, we are gonna bring the camera along. We're gonna be doing some filming so that you guys can kind of get an idea of how this is all gonna go for us. However, we're not going to be publishing the videos until we're done. Right. So over the next week, we're gonna be concentrating all of our time and effort on getting meat in the freezer. So you guys will notice that we won't have a video uh, after today until next Thursday. We're gonna take just a few days to really try to hammer out as much of this as we can here on the homestead. Like Sarah said, we will be filming some, but you guys will see it after we get back next week. So if you all will keep us in your prayers over the next week that we stay safe, that everything goes smoothly, we would really appreciate that. We'll be excited to show you guys how much meat we ended up with from these two pigs and that hopefully you'll see that I get some deer along the way as well. Um, it's gonna be a crazy time, but we look forward to getting back with you guys and sharing more of what we do here with you. Now this is the second year that we're going to be processing our own pigs here on the farm. We used to always take them to a butcher, but now we do them ourselves. It's a lot less stress on the animals and really a lot less expensive for us if we can do them right here. Last year we did a very in-depth series as we were doing the pigs. We showed exactly how we cut them up and everything that we do. We won't be doing quite as in-depth this year. Uh, so if you wanna go back and watch the videos from last year, we'll leave a link to that playlist so you guys can watch that while we're gone for this next week. 
We hope that you guys have enjoyed watching us raise these pigs just as much as we have enjoyed raising them. We are so thankful to live this lifestyle that allows us to have so much control over the food that we put in our bodies. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And the best way you can help us here on the homestead is to share our videos and share our channel with people you know who would also like it. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.